How is it going on everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be continuing the Deconstructed series with a breakdown of my recent Lemunia Mile piece uh, that I released a couple of weeks ago and I kind of loosely based this off of my Vinicius Junior piece that I released I think earlier on in February. Just kind of using the similar sort of composition in terms of the, the angle of the picture, you know, some of the textures that I've used as well, I've reused in the Yamal piece. And yeah, just to kind of have a bit of like a face off kind of two graphic essentially between obviously Vinicius Jr, Real Madrid star man and Elimin Yamal, the new up and coming star for Barcelona. But before we get into the deconstruction, I would really appreciate it if you guys dropped a like and subscribe to help my channel grow. Well, let's get into it. So as you can see, the first thing that I really did with this, if we could just go back all the way down to the layers and I'm just going to literally hide everything that I did uh, apart from there we go so initially I started off with this picture uh, I used a bit of generative fill to kind of add in bits as the first picture that I used it wasn't at an angle obviously the ground was uh, horizontal it was very flat so I twisted it and then it obviously had some corners showing so I just filled in uh, some of these just to obviously get a nicer nicer effect and uh, the, the picture itself had a really really good background so what I then did I cut out um, Yamal and then used generative fill to kind of um, get rid of any bits that I wasn't too um, detailed with when I was doing the cutout some some certain bits were showing behind him so I've just basically did a selection of the cutout uh, expanded the selection and then used generative fill to kind of get rid of anything that was behind him and then we were left with this so just the normal cutout uh, which is fine and then we kind of started to build the backdrop so going into the backdrop I first of all hide these camera raw I just kind of boosted some of the colors uh, add a little bit of contrast to make it a little bit more cinematic in a way and then added some curves and exposure adjustment layers to kind of add a bit of highlights coming from this side where the light will eventually come from and add a bit of shadow in here so it kind of looks like the shadow is falling from him and uh, that was kind of it then I added a bit of a red hue back, uh, background light essentially not directly onto the cutout but just a bit of uh, red saturation into the top right corner uh, and once I had this composition, what I really wanted to mirror was these really abstract shapes, uh, similar to what I used for Vinicius, but not the exact same technique that I used for this one. So heading into Illustrator, I created a few of these assets, which are just, uh, I think basically all this is, you create a couple of shapes and then have a type layer, and eventually you use the envelope, an envelope distort uh, and you make it with top object which then creates a nice effect when you can still edit the type so you can essentially type in whatever you want um, and it creates kind of a live object an abstract shape and you can play around with the um, kind of the angle of this and it kind of distorts it to match the shape which is pretty cool so I did that with Barca I created the Barca shield um, just as a vector shape which I'm later going to use as a stroke in the actual piece itself and then I kind of rasterized some of these and then created a couple of different variations of the actual name um, using the same sort of tactic with a slightly different shape kind of composition for the distort and then I exported it into this so the first one that I did was this Barca one which is kind of like the dark blue and all I did for this was you know as you can see it's just this uh, directly imported from Illustrator and then I added a blur to it which is if I will just show you show edit pins it's just an iris blur just to kind of get that nice fade out around the edges but keep it really in focus uh, right behind uh, the cutout from then on I added a bit more of a light coming from the top right and then again added a bit more shadow in then I added this uh, Barca shield shape I got rid of the fill completely I've just added a white stroke and then a bit of outer glow just to kind of help this area of the composition stand out a bit from the background and then moving on from that I kind of started to build up the abstract shapes behind uh, Yamal and kind of played around with a bit of the uh, the lighter blues rather than the dark blues and again this is literally the same shape from the illustrator file that I showed you previously with just a couple of highlights that I've added and a couple of shadows and again as you can see this is just the shape and I added an not an iris blur a field blur on this one just to have a little bit more control on this one and create kind of the pieces uh, of the shape that are closer to the edges a lot more blurred out just to get a bit more of a dynamic feeling a bit of speed 
Um, and yeah, so until I was satisfied with that, obviously I played around with the, the different settings. And then building on top of that, I created the red abstract shape, which again, same thing that I used in Illustrator. But the only thing with this, uh, I added, I think it was a field blur again. Yeah, as you can see, just a couple of different points dropped around the shape itself. But then I clipped a texture, which is actually the same texture that I used for the Vinicius Junior piece. But I've just tweaked the color in and some of the uh, some of the additional camera raw filters. So this is what the image originally looks like. I got this from Unsplash. Again, I've covered the website on my previous video, but make sure to check out unsplash.com if you're looking for any kind of abstract imagery or any images in general that you can use for textures or just your pieces in general. And, and then what I did to this was just added a hue and saturation to make it red and then played around with some um, some basic contrast camera raw filters that just make the, the highlights pop a bit more, make the blacks a lot darker, and then just kind of get it looking really metallic in a way. Uh, very vibrant, very kind of in your face. And then what I did, uh, which is this isn't the actual cutout itself, so I'm gonna hide that. And this is the cutout now, as you can see. And I'll just add this background kind of glow that I, I use in a lot of my pieces, to be fair, uh, just to kind of create a little bit of lighting and make it not as flat. And then on the cutout itself, I've done quite a few things. So let's hide all of these first. Uh, I started off with a selective color adjustment layer just to tweak the yellows a little bit to kind of get more of a natural look on the skin tones. Then we started off with some shadowing using a curves adjustment layer. Again, a little bit of shadowing on the ball, then an exposure layer to kind of bring out some of the highlights around the edges, then another curves adjustment layer to kind of emphasize those highlights even more. Hue and saturation, just to add a bit of like, um, just edge lighting really, play around with the red lights and kind of get that to transfer onto the cutout itself. And as you can see, if I just kind of hide the hue and saturation, you can really see the details come into the hair and kind of the outline of the face and things like that. So that just kind of helps to bring it together really uh, and kind of make it a little bit more realistic. And then I just added again, just a little bit of red uh, overlay onto the side of the face. Then I did the 50% gray layer with the burn and dodge which is right here to kind of further emphasize the uh, the shadows and the highlights as you can see it just kind of makes it pop even more then again some more kind of edge highlights around the glow which is behind the player then a bit of red coloring where the light is coming from to kind of again make it more realistic and then a little bit of blue coming from the left so i kind of get a little bit of light transfer from these blue shapes on the left of him and then kind of to have him more embedded into the abstract shapes, similar to what I did with Vinicius, added a bit of foreground uh, elements and added a bit of overlay of the parts on top of the cutout. I just used the, the kind of the abstract metallic shape and I've just masked it a little bit over him. So it kind of looks like he's coming out of that abstract shape. And then uh, the last couple of things, some, uh, some bloom over the cutout, just to, again, add a bit of realism across the face. So it's like the light is bouncing off his face and a little bit of bloom around here where the light is hitting his leg and just over the, the kind of the metallic um, abstract shape. Then I created some foreground elements, which is literally just um, like essentially little circles that I just drew myself uh, around him. So let me just show you that quickly um and the texture so i think it should be in here so it's literally just these little shapes that i made around him until i was happy with the kind of composition i then clipped um the the metallic texture again in over these and then i just added a i think it was a filter blur and it was a radial blur but i did the zoom best and i think i've just played around with the amount until i got a kind of uh, perspective so it looks like the pieces are coming from towards uh, from the middle of the composition towards kind of the edges with a bit more of a dynamic feeling again and I did the same with these kind of two uh, parts that I've added on the bottom and to the right again to kind of create a bit more of a, a depth look uh, just to create more foreground and then it kind of yeah again just creates a bit more of a dynamic look similar to what i did with this vinicius with a lot of this being out of focus but then obviously the coil being in focus it just makes the piece look a lot nicer and then a couple of extra lights again i just added more bloom coming from the right and then i added a bit of like a, i think this is a brush that i found ages ago i can't exactly remember where i downloaded it from but it's just like a few speckles of dust essentially uh, that i've changed to linear dodge just to make it look as if it was like dust particles pretty much 
And then the final uh, CC filters and uh, kind of color adjustments. Again, a bit of a curves layer to further kind of improve the contrast of this piece. I added a bit of a um, an overlay, um, what's it called now? Grain effect that I literally just made a 50% gray layer, added grain in the camera raw filter and then set it to like 70% which was good. Brightness and contrast again, I kind of increased it around the edges of the cutout where the lights are hitting just to kind of get that to pop a bit more. Color look up, you know, this is the standard three strip look that I use a lot of the time with 60% just so it's not too um, saturated. The vibrance was quite nice on this, so I settled with 60%. And then again, a couple of like bloom and uh, dust particle bits that I got from Texture Labs just to kind of make it more uh, dynamic and realistic and then finally a final camera raw filter which is literally just playing around with uh, some more contrast increasing the highlights especially uh, decreasing some of the shadows and then i created final iris blur around the edges of this to kind of get these bits a lot out of focus again so then it kind of emphasizes the sharpness of the cutout itself and it basically creates the final look so just as a final comparison this is what the before cutout looked like this is the after and then obviously we've added the angled uh, background we've played around with the image added all of the the elements from illustrator uh, which if you want to see a tutorial on these let me know in the comments below i can make a dedicated video to kind of how i create my abstract shapes on illustrator especially um, and yeah i will get around to be doing that in the near future but yeah this is pretty much it for the video if you enjoyed it if you found anything useful do leave a like obviously if you ever have any video suggestions leave those in the comments below and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos in the near future and i hope to see you all guys again very soon